Hey guys, welcome to your seventh block-based programming tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to use the glide a certain amount of seconds to a random position, how to make it glide to the mouse pointer, as well as a glide to an XY coordinate. Very similar to the last tutorial, only rather than just going to, it's going to glide to a certain point, right? So let's look at each, okay? So I have three sprites. I have Scratch, I have Sonic, and I have Smiley, okay? I'm going to take the blue blocks from each, and I'm going to delete them. Another way of deleting it is to drag it, right, and right-click it. And it will say either if I want to duplicate it, add a comment, or delete block. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete the block. So each one should just have the event. Now we don't know what's going to happen with each. All right. I'm going to drag the smiley face down here. All right. And we now have our three sprites. So if I click on scratch, I'm going to highlight this sprite. And let's say I want him to glide for one second to a random position and I go and drag that block and click it in there. So when scratch is clicked, he should glide for one second, not just appear somewhere, but he's going to glide to a random position. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it took him one second and he glid across the glid, glided, glided across the map, uh, across the backdrop. Okay, let's go ahead and click him again. Right. So each time I click on, he glides to a random position. Let's say I want him to glide rather for one second, for three seconds, he's gonna move a little bit slower. But watch, so I click him, and it takes three seconds for him to get to that random position. And I click there, he's gonna take him three seconds to go to that random position. All right, so you can change the speed. Let's look at Sonic, right? So I'm gonna say glide for one second, rather, to, rather than a random position, Let's make him glide to the mouse pointer. Okay, so if I have the mouse pointer over here, right, it should take him one second to get there. Let's go ahead and click A and see what happens. So he gets there in one second. If I have it shorter, he's probably going to move slower because it's going to take him one second to get there. Right, and one second and he's there. Once again, if I want to change the seconds, I could change that right there. And the last sprite I want to look at is the smiley. Okay, that when I click him, I want him to glide to a random position. Let's say I want him to move to, I don't know, let's say 90, um, 100. Okay, so when I click on the smiley face, once again, you can't click in the open area. You have to click on the right color. So if I click there, he should glide for one second to that XY coordinate. Right, and you look at the XY coordinate, sure enough, he's at 90, 100. If I wanted him to glide to negative 90, negative 100, let's just say negative 90, 100. If I click him, he should move to negative 90, 100. It took him one second, all right? So just to recap what we went through, we're still in the motion category. Rather than having him just show up and go to a certain point, each sprite was able to glide to either a random position, the mouse pointer, or a certain XY coordinate. In the next tutorial, we're going to talk about pointing in a certain direction. We're going to go through also how to make him point towards the mouse pointer as well and change what degree it's facing. And we're going to end up changing the direction down here as well as properties. So uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.